even when a person with stage three or stage four melanoma no longer has detectable evidence of disease, the cancer may eventually reappear, either near the location of the original melanoma or a distant lymph node or in an organ. Estimating your risk for occurrence is highly individual. So much depends on your initial diagnosis and treatment and how aggressive the cancer was. One person with stage three melanoma, for example, may have a recurrence in the liver, lungs, or brain, while another may not. Or a person already diagnosed with stage four melanoma can enter remission and then have a recurrence after a span of time. In general, stage three melanoma has an intermediate to high risk of recurrence, while a person with stage four melanoma has an even greater chance of relapse. But outcomes are changing. Immunotherapy and targeted therapy are two types of innovative treatments for inoperable stage three and stage four melanoma that can give patients longer relapse-free lives. One immunotherapy drug is approved for inoperable stage three melanoma or stage four melanoma. And the anti-PD-1 treatment, pembrolizumab, has been given the FDA's breakthrough therapy designation for melanoma. FDA approval is expected sometime in 2014. Japanese regulatory authorities have already approved the anti-PD-1 antibody nivolumab to treat advanced melanoma. These immunotherapy drugs increase the ability of the body's immune system to battle tumors and kill cancer cells. Both immunotherapy and targeted therapy show a lot of promise. The hope is that these drugs will turn metastatic melanoma into a chronic manageable disease. Your doctor may offer you an estimation of your recurrence risk but you might serve yourself better by concentrating on getting the best, most innovative treatment possible. Focus on hope, not frightening statistics.